Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from my interview with ex-Guns N' Roses guitarist Gilby Clark. This interview is for my documentary, What is Classic Rock? If you want to see the full interview or the full documentary, What is Classic Rock? The links are available below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more. I really do believe that some new young band out there can change it, can make it a game changer and can do it. Um, but that's going to take a lot. I do have hope. I really do. I mean, I was around in the 80s when things were really bleak. You know, there was a lot of generic music. There was a lot of boring, bad records out and there was no rock radio stations. There were no rock concerts or nothing. You know, and then bands like Guns N' Roses came along. I mean, even bands like Poison and, you know, there were bands that came into Los Angeles that really were good bands that made a difference and they changed the whole thing. So I want to just say that I do have hope, you know, there can be a new young band, you know, with a whole new creative outlook that can really take this in a new direction and spark a new generation to do it. But just remember, you know, back in those days, the bands that were great back then took a great singer, a great guitar player, a great bass player, and a great drummer, you know, keyboard player, whatever. It took these unique, great parts to make one sum. Nowadays, most of the bands will have like a great guitar player or a great singer or like one person and then, you know, the other guys in the band are in 10 different bands. Um, that's really what it's going to take. It's really going to take some, uh, you know, some commitment, some sacrifices to really get some new young band. But I do have hope. I honestly do have hope. I really do think that can change because I saw it happen with my own, own, own eyes years and years ago. And I do think it's possible because I do think people are still passionate about music. And I do think music is an important part of people's lives. And therefore, how can you let a genre like classic rock die? What do I think of the uh, current condition of uh, rock and roll music? Uh, I think right now it's just kind of... Uh, a little, little dull, you know, there hasn't really been anything new, exciting, and creative, uh, you know, recently. Um, you know, there's a lot of bands that are still out there and touring. The Stones, you know, doing the Zip Code tour is pretty incredible. Uh, I would have never, ever thought that would have happened when I first started playing music. Um, you know, there's a couple of new bands, you know, I think that are good. I, I don't know if they're, you know, going to be, you know, arena rock. You know, there's uh, uh, the Rival Sons, I think, are a really good band. There, there's some good new music. Uh, it just, uh, you know, just we need more. We just need more. I think we need some new great bands, you know, that, that are going to knock the stones off the mantle. You know, I think there were definitely some bands, you know, throughout the, the years and stuff that, you know, made it to the top, got knocked out by another band and moved on and stuff like that. We just need a little bit more of that, you know. Um, I still feel the same as I was speaking earlier, that I do have hope. I really do. There's something that a lot of modern artists say that drives me insane. And that's that quote, I do it for the fans. That just drives me insane. That, to me, that's just not an artist. An artist's job is to come up with something original, unique, and they do it for themselves because they have this passion and they have this gift. All the greatest songwriters, musicians, performers didn't really give a shit what anybody thought about them. They did it for themselves. It's a very selfish act. I mean, that's the way I've, I've always felt. It's like when I'm making music, I do it for myself. I make a record that I want to buy. I don't do it because I know what my fans want. You know, to me, that's chasing your tail. You know, that's, uh, th that's the ultimate sellout, in my opinion. And I hear that so much by people, today's artists, what they call today's artists, which I, I really don't consider them artists. I just consider them product. Um, it's just, so that's what I want to see. I want to see somebody that's just unique, uh, some rock and roll that just doesn't give a shit, you know, that, uh, you know, if they get famous, you know, from making some great music, then hey that's the bonus but they're really in it for themselves and to just you know they they have this passion inside them. i just want to see that passion back i want to see more rock and roll i really do it's like uh everything is so nice and pretty and the package is so uh uh intricate you know i, I just I, what i love about rock and roll is is that freedom aspect to it that there are no rules you know it's like you don't really give a shit what other people think or any people or what other uh, what other people think or what other people say. To me, that's what's great about rock and roll. That's the decadent part of it.